It's lost way too much money for my family. Everyone's stressed out about it. The farm I live on and that I want to turn around is Congress Hill Farm. Congress Hill Farm is located in Monroe, New Jersey. My grandfather, he grew up and worked at a harness racing track. And I think he grew up always wanting to one day own those racehorses. He got into harness racing and he ended up uh, seeing that this farm was for sale from one of the greatest harness racers of all time, Hervé Fillion. I'd like to be able to win over 10,000 races, so I'm 46 now and I feel good and I feel like you know, I'm going to retire when I hit 65. My grandfather bought the farm from Hervé Fillion in the 80s. My dad absolutely loved the farm. He loved working on it. That was just his dream to be there. My dad ended up meeting my mom and she loved the farm and they ended up living there and raising me and my two older brothers, Jeremy and Harry, on the farm. Harry probably fell in love with the most. He became a harness racer. We would constantly come home and just hear my dad kind of wishing that the farm could be profitable. I went to a school for entrepreneurship and I was always interested in business challenges. I ended up taking a job after college. I still wanted to have a side thing and be able to run a small business. My mom was basically managing the farm. She runs her own nonprofit special strides on the farm that helps handicapped kids build muscle through riding on horses. And so it's really hard for her to balance that with also doing the bookkeeping for the farm, cashing checks, paying the bills, seeing who is in what stall and all that stuff. I was hearing complaints about it right after college this summer. I and my brothers, we kind of got together and thought it would be a really cool project for us to take it over and try to turn it into something. We're doing what everyone else isn't doing. They're ending the summer and relaxing, and we're, we're taking this as the start of next summer and getting everything ready to rock. So we'll be all set to have trail rides, an interactive trail, camping, anything you want, we have. My mom has me slowly doing the bookkeeping on QuickBooks, printing invoices, giving it to people. I have to also pay the bills. A bill. A bill. It's probably like five bills, three checks. My brother Harry, who really lives and works on the farm, him and my mom weren't clear on how many horses people had, exactly where they were located. I said, is there like labels on the stalls or something? So that way we have some master spreadsheet that says who's in what stall, who's in what paddock. And they said, no, there's, there's not. I realized that could kind of be my main first projects um, while I was learning the books. So I got on that, I counted every paddock, every stall and every barn, created a whole labeling system and created site maps for them online. Two. Finally just made a digital map of these stalls and now I'm gonna have a master spreadsheet that says who's in what stall. And then I'll be able to get a better grasp of what stalls are available. What's the vacancy like? I finished those site maps handed them to Brian. A plastic gator that I bought at Home Depot. Yeah. And I uh, made it swim. What? Don't take a picture of me. And next episode, hopefully you'll get to see all the, the stalls have labels. And then I'll be able to market what stalls are vacant. We finally have Horseplay, which is the horseback riding program on the farm and run by this girl named Alex who does a fantastic job. We'll link up her place and continue renting stalls to people like that. We want to start doing camping on the farm. We went on hip camp, which is like the Airbnb for putting tents on places. Check out our hip camp site. Let me know what your thoughts are. This week we got something really cool in the mail. Google sent us the verification code so that we can edit our business info on Google. Someone hijacked our uh... Google business info. So when, when you Google Congress Hill Farm and click website, it goes to some weird spam website. So um, I'm pretty excited about that letter because it verifies who the owner is. So we're gonna get our business info back on Google. And it'll be accurate. So my brother, Harry, he wants to do a ride and sit where we have people ride horses in the woods. 
and then get local crafted wine, yoga with goats. It's called goat yoga. It's actually like some weird popular thing. He was like, let's set up a good photo shoot. And we had a great crew. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I really hope you guys are able to suggest your own thoughts about what you would do on the farm, if, or what you would do if you were running it, or what you would pay for. So that, that would just be awesome. If you made it this far, we are going to be naming that brown goat over there. One of you will be naming it. Just comment what you think's the best name, and next episode we'll say who got the name for this goat. So tune in for next episode and suggest some good names.